Hello and welcome to the North American Guitar Showroom in London. This is a very special talking guitar and actually an exclusive. Uh, we can now announce that we are working very closely with the one and only Mr. Michel Pellerin. <laughs> How are you doing? Hi. Fine. Uh, uh, fresh, fresh off of the plane. A fresh. I, I mean, just arrived. You, literally, <laughs> you just arrived and you yeah. came straight here. Yeah, exactly. And the flight was well? Yep. Yeah. Perfect. Fantastic. No so, problem. Easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And also you have two guitars, so you're, they're, they're safe. Which we're, yes. we're happy that they're safe. Um, so, Michelle, we've known each other for a few years now. We, we've obviously we've met and spoken at many yep. shows. We're just really so proud to actually finally have your name on our Luthier roster featured on the website, which will be coming out very soon. So it's, it's great to have you here. Yeah, I feel so honoured to, uh, to be uh, well represented amongst all other great builders here. Well, it's <laughs> absolutely 100% deserved, so the honour is ours. But we wanted just to talk, just to step back a little bit, so just tell us, uh, we were talking before we started filming, um, a little bit about the history, uh, about how you got into building. Just tell yes. us a little, little bit more about that. Yeah, but uh, it was not my plan to build guitar at first. I was uh, learning uh, music at school, Yeah, and then I just, discover the, the sound of the guitar that why my guitar sounds like crap and <laughs> uh, the other one at the rear of the class uh, sounds like big like that and so I just wanted uh, I've uh, I've seen that there was a course of violin making near of my town right. so I said oh maybe I can follow this and I start, uh, I start violin making for six months, and then I heard that they wanted to give a guitar course, and so I switched to guitar, <laughs> and that's what I wanted to, to to make a good guitar for myself. So I switched into guitar making, and I was into the first year of the uh, Quebec National Rotary School, and I had. Great teacher there, Jean Rompré, Laurent Saint Jacques uh, was uh, two of my teacher. Yeah, and there's teacher. there's a, you, there's, a, there's a classical approach to your building. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, because I played more classical too at, right. at first, right. uh, classical and electric. Yeah, uh, kind of. We, we'll have to give you an electric guitar <laughs> yeah. later for some videos. <laughs> uh, but I love the sound of the steel string. Mm -hmm. And my approach is uh, more a more sensitive approach, mm. like classical guitar, yeah. but to steel string. And you can hear that in your guitars. You can yeah. absolutely hear that. And um, you're you're very close friends with a good friend of ours, Maria Beauregard. Exactly. Um, exactly. And uh, yeah, so hi, Maria. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so um, do you? Because it's such a beautiful community. The, the, the luthier world. Mm -hmm. um, do you sort of share and, uh, and talk with, with other luthiers when you're going through your build process? Like, like you said, it's a very great community and we exchange uh, a lot together. Yeah. Uh, depends with who, but yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, especially with Mario, we got phone calls uh, maybe every week. Or, <laughs> yeah. That's amazing. <laughs> And yeah, uh, Mario, he always inspired me. Mm. Uh, first, just uh, is uh, all his details and yeah. aesthetic and everything. And Mario, uh, the first time I played uh, Mario's guitar, I was completely astonished. Yeah. And yeah. Um, you can, see that, you can see that, that the, you, you have a, there seems there's a, almost a, 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 not a similarity, but there's an influence. Yes. You can see that. Oh, you can I, see that in sure. your guitars. Yeah. yeah. yeah which I, I, I must be very proud of. influence uh, of Mario in my work. Uh, I don't want to copy him because he has his own stuff and mm. I love the sound, but it's not my sound. Yeah. But there's something in his sound that I love so much, so I focus on only something because I, I just want to have uh, my sound and my aesthetic, but yeah, it's a big influence. Yeah. <laughs> and um, you brought with us, or brought with you, to us, two phenomenal guitars. So do you want, uh, should we, we'll save this 
this one till last. Oh. Just, just talk us through this instrument you've okay. got here for us. Um, this is a grand auditorium model, mm -hmm. cutaway, uh, made of series rosewood from Thailand and western red cedar top. Am I uh, right in thinking that you're, you're, that's, your, that's your personal favorite combination? Exactly. Right, exactly. Okay. Uh, it's very uh, uh, finger style guitar mm -hmm. and very simple. Yeah. I love it simple. Yeah. So uh, I make uh, a guitar kind of for myself. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, uh, Which is often the best way. Often, yes. often we find that when, when a customer knows that the luthier is building something that he himself would love, mm -hmm. those guitars speak to, um, speak to people. Yeah, um, and, and you can see, and actually, you're, you're right. Just jumping back, you say you love the in your sound. You you have a sort of like the mellowness of um, the, from the classical building, and you can really hear that, especially with this wood combination, because you feel that the the cedar kind of just balances out. Yes, the, um, I love the brightness of the of violin, the uh, yeah. balanced guitar. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Sorry, carry on. No, no. Uh, so um, this is. Like a, my bass style mm -hmm. without any options mm -hmm. and very simple, but love it satin finish <laughs> neck. I love uh, the satin with it, that's cool. Yeah, and I, I took leftover from the back to make the head plate and to make the rosette. Very simple, but so nice. So beautiful. So, yeah. so beautiful. And you reckon, and obviously, this is going to be uh, excelling as a finger style instrument, taking drop tunings, dad gad, etc. Uh -huh. Really, really well. Exactly. Well, we can't wait. We're, gonna, we're probably going to uh, get in a phenomenal player to come in and demo this guitar. So we're, we're very excited about that. Um, so, moving on to yes. this, uh, which, which I've been following quite closely on social media um, because of you. When you told, uh, when, when we decided we were starting working together, you said, mm -hmm. well, I really want to do something incredibly special. And this is your 200th instrument. Exact. I, I mean, exact. that is, a, what an achievement. <laughs> amazing, amazing. Thank you, thank you. Um, but it yeah, is... 21 you, years now. It's like, it was like yesterday. <laughs> that I, I began. Um, yeah. But this is absolutely sensational. I, I, uh, the photos and the cameras just don't do it justice at just how beautiful this guitar is. So I'm going to very carefully hand this to you so that you can talk yep. us through what you've got going on here. So um, I wanted to make something special for the 200 guitar. And I, I bought a, a set of beautiful Brazilian rosewood uh, 10 years ago. And I wanted to just keep it for a special guitar. Mm -hmm. And I said, okay, uh, I will use it for this particular guitar. Oh yeah, it's wavy. Just, it's just like it's, it's, it like it's, an, it's like it's an ocean. Yeah, or curly hair. Yeah, or, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And um, so I use uh, this wood for back and side. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's very loud. <laughs> um, paired with a Adirondack spruce staff. Yeah. From my area. And a very, very uh, beautiful tight, yeah, tight very grain. even. Yeah. And, yeah. And for uh, mahogany neck. And uh, I use uh, this is ebony for uh, fingerboard and for head plate, African blackwood bridge. Mm -hmm and some burl, a maple burl appointment, like the rosette. The I love the, 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 the back strip, the burl, yeah. the burl back strip really does make it. In and fact, so you, have, um, you have with this guitar just a very subtle running theme all the way through it. Everything is beautifully done, um, but it's, it's actually, it's the tone of the guitar yes. that really sets it apart. Uh, when playing it very briefly, uh, obviously it's got to open up, it's a brand new instrument. But it's like a piano. There's no other way to describe it. it it's like a piano. It has depth, character. Um, I, I, I'm a big fan of uh, Brazilian Rosewood and Adirondack. I think that is like the, 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 the mothership. Yes. <laughs> um, and so, yeah, uh, what a special, special guitar. And I've even just noticed there is a very subtle little, uh, I believe that is that Brazilian Rosewood? Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's great. <laughs> wow. 
congratulations on well, that. From here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, wow. That was, may I? May I? Yeah. So this is, yeah, what a, what a beautiful guitar. And it's also so comfortable to play. Um, it really does hug into the body nicely. And uh, I love the sound port acting as that yeah. sort of monitor straight up to your ears. So we'll be di getting some beautiful um, videos of this instrument up. Uh, with uh, with one of our regular players, whether that will be Will Stewart, um, and uh, yeah, so that that's going to be very exciting. So just jumping back a little bit more uh, about um, you as a builder, I, I, I love your harp guitars, and, mm -hmm. I, and I follow follow the build process as well. And you told me before we started the camera that you can build a harp guitar within three months, three to four months. Yeah. Uh, takes me uh, three to four months uh, depending of the complexity because I, I do some with uh, just sub basses mm -hmm. and I do uh, also I build with super trebles wow. and uh, like the last one with super trebles I did was uh, the wedge and fan fret yeah. and so it took, uh, it took maybe 500 hours wow. to make it I, I, it's just so humbling <laughs> and, you know for us we have you know we're very very lucky we have a lovely showroom but it's nothing this is nothing without people like yourself and the talent that you, you talent that you guys create um, we're very honored to represent all of our luthiers and so honored to have you um, in amongst them it really it feels like it's a it's a, it's a great time to be doing this and and uh, and, aside, and aside from uh the phenomenal guitars that you're building you also have a show you 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 curate a, uh, a yes. music uh, show, yes. is that right? Yes, uh, it will be uh, our third years mm -hmm. now. And yeah, so a uh, show in Quebec City, mm -hmm. Quebec Guitar Show. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I yes. see why. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and it's really focused on music. Mm -hmm. So we have an uh, international, well-renowned musician mm -hmm. who will play. Uh, we have four days of concert. And it's... Um, the, the venue is a concert hall mm -hmm. so and, and we just add one big room so we had a problem at the beginning we had to face that w where to do yeah. the demo concert the separation the separation yeah. and we said why just make it in front of people right here we have all the high tech uh, sound uh, and right. So we just, maybe it will work, maybe not, <laughs> right. but uh, every people uh, that came to the show, builders and just said, wow, it's so uh, unusual, yeah. but it's, it's supposed to be like this because yeah. you can hear all the guitar of uh, uh, every builder. Yeah. So every hour it, the show stop for 10 minutes. Oh, wow. Everybody goes into the um, audience, take a seat, and then listen to the guitar for 10 minutes, and then the show go back. Wow, and that's great. Yes, it's that's just really, really original. A, yeah. yeah. Oh, wow, so we great. take a break, we listen, and then... I'm going to try, I'm gonna have to try <laughs> and come out to that. Yeah, it's very fun. Um, and you've got, is it, you've got Don Ross playing this year? Yes, right? uh, we will have Don Ross, Harry Manx, Maria Anderson, Justin St. Pierre, Trevor Gordon, all, uh, Claude Laflamme. Sure. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So, 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 some <laughs> great players, some great players. Um, and uh, after, after you've uh, delivered these beautiful instruments to us, uh, you're, am I right thinking you're going on a little vacation? It's your birthday coming up? Yeah. <laughs> 40? <laughs> <laughs> that's the, well, I'm nearly 40. I'm nearly 40. So it, that's, that's a good age. It's a good age. Uh, well, Michelle, it, it's such an honor to thank have you. you here. And uh, thank you so much for, for, for coming here and delivering these beautiful instruments to us. And um, have a wonderful vacation. Well deserved. Thank vacation. you. Thank you. Yeah, you're with your family. Yeah. We, we've just met. Um, and what's your plans uh, when you get back? Just straight back to building? Yes. Okay. Uh, I have a few shows and I still have to uh, uh, finalize to organize a Quebec show. Yeah. But yeah, I, I have a lot of building to... Uh, to get on with. Yeah. 
Brilliant. Well, thanks again. Thank you again. Thank you. So there you have it. Uh, a bit of an exclusive. Uh, very excited to have these beautiful instruments in the showroom. Um, so for more information on the finest luthier built instrument, then please do subscribe to this channel. But for more information on Michel Pellerin of Pellerin Guitars and these two beautiful instruments that have just arrived, don't hesitate to get in touch.